Are my eyebrows too dark? I think they are, aren't they? I don't realize these things till I come on camera. I think they need to be brushed out. Try to mute that a little bit. My brows are like distant cousins. Definitely not twins. They look so much lighter in the mirror. Hmm. Oh well. First things first. Now that the brows are sorted. Kind of. <laughs> I cannot believe the weather we are having right now. It actually feels like summertime right now. I think it's supposed to be a high of about 20. That's summertime in, in Vancouver. What is going on? We had, a, we had snow like still on the ground less than two weeks ago. What? And look at this. Shorts. I am wearing shorts, people. <laughs> what? What? Crazy, I was sitting outside in the sunshine. Chico's just like, ah, oh, nose to the sun, loving it. Our little Mexican puppy has been freezing for the last couple months, so he's a very happy little boy. But yeah, I am sporting a really vintage pair of Levi's shorts. They don't really fit me that well. They're not exactly flattering, but I prefer like an oversized short fit than the super tight, bootylicious kind of shoot shorts. So um, yeah, and I think it looks, they look fine with a nice big sweater over top. And I'm actually even a little warm in this sweater. Oh my God. We are definitely going for a walk later. Get out and enjoy the sunshine. Maybe Ken will even get a little burn. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of staring out this window so far this morning. Um, I was supposed to get a DHL package that was supposed to come yesterday. I was home all day waiting for this package to arrive, but I checked on the door partway through the day and they've left a notice saying, sorry, we missed you. Um, unable to reach receiver. What? I was here all day right next to the phone. The only time I wouldn't have been able to answer the phone was the five to seven minutes I was quickly scrubbing myself in the shower. So that seems a little suspicious. They said they would retry today. So far, nothing. And I'm, I'm watching closely because are they fooling me? <laughs> I feel like I'm being duped here. Give me my package. Anyway, something else arrived. Package from a skincare company. So I thought I would quickly open it up. Let's see what's inside. I've already removed all the address stuff so the weirdos can't come to get me. So the company's called Masquerade. Kind of a play on words there. Designed in Canada, but made in Korea. K-Beauty, very popular right now. Korea is supposed to have the most amazing skincare. Uh, cruelty free, everything free. It's like Christmas. Ooh, <laughs> a little headband for washing. I was actually thinking I needed one of these the other day. I'm gonna try it on. Let's hope Ken comes upstairs right at this very moment. <laughs> I think these are small little patches that you put on pimples. I could use those because I'm coming up to when hormones are changing over and I'm gonna end up with spots. Let's face it, purify, purifying cleansing stick. And then a bunch of different masks, lavender, exfoliating, firm and soften lines, brightening and prime, bubble mask, ooh. Two peel off rose all day, peel off mask, ooh. I like the sounds of that, might try that tonight. Crystal clear, sweet retreat. Oh, I like the packaging of this one. If Ken and I had a girl one day, maybe she would be that cute with her little beret and red hair. <laughs> Awesome, I'm excited to try all this. Thank you very much, Masquerade. That's what it is there, Masquerade. Very cool, excited for this dog. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make myself a little lunch. Um, I think it's gonna be a mix of a bunch of different things I find in the fridge, as I call my snack plates on Instagram, if you've been following along over there. It's probably gonna be a little bit repetitive today. We just restocked on our usual stuff. So I think I'm gonna eat all those things, but. It's the same plate re a lot recently. So first though, I should show you. <laughs> You're plugged in. This insane piece of work. Can you see that? Oh my Lord. What you've just witnessed there is healthy mac and cheese. I should get my mom to share this recipe on the vlog one day. <sighs> she comes to me yesterday afternoon. She's like, I'm going to try to trick Ken. <laughs> I was like, okay, mom, let's try it. Ken's by far the most picky eater in the house, so he was the good one to do the taste test on. But basically, it's mac and cheese made half with, I think it's half squash that's in it. So she made her usual cheese sauce. So it's not totally healthy, obviously. It's some cheese sauce, some pasta. Um, healthy multigrain pasta, though. So she cut the cheese sauce in half and added um, cooked squash to it. I think it was squash. And it tastes 
amazing. Ken actually didn't even know after he finished his dinner, he gobbled it up. Mom said, did you notice anything different about the mac and cheese? And he goes, no, like a little afraid to ask. <laughs> um, and he had no idea and it was so good. Still plenty cheesy, satisfying, good pasta casserole kind of dish that's semi-healthy. Um, so we should definitely do that on the vlog one day. Okay, the making of a snack plate. Okay, snack plate tour. Tivia, lactose free, this is the mango one, yum. Two cuties oranges, I've been eating a ton of these lately. Um, these are the big bag from Costco and they are like candy, so good. 2% cottage cheese, I eat one or 2%, it's fine. And deli ham. Mm-hmm, none of it's gonna fall on the floor. Do I have to move then? Why? Well, I don't wanna eat with that next to me. Okay. I'm also recording this, so. Now I'm just manspreading now towards you. Now you're manspreading towards me, and your foot is in my shot. <laughs> it is too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're a bit of pain, a pain in the butt. <laughs> sit how I want. <laughs> Free. A little bit paranoid. Okay, we're gonna head out for our walk, but I have to change first because these shorts, the one I was, I was just wearing, I forgot that they have patches on the inside, which makes them quite uncomfortable actually. This patch in here. Where is it? This patch is rubbing my skin so badly. There's no way I'm gonna make it through like an hour walk wearing those. So I'm changing into my other very similar Levi shorts. <laughs> Much better. That was driving me crazy. <laughs> He always fusses about the harness, but he loves going for walks. Gotta get you strapped in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And the package has arrived. Yes. a hot walk. I definitely did not need a giant fleece jacket. It felt like a workout. We were all sweating and panting. That was a uh, Fuego we were walking with, by the way. He's our neighborhood dog. Chico and him are the best of friends. He's not very good at fetching, though. Pretty terrible. We'd throw the ball and he would run to it, but stop and then just kind of look around. And then Chico would grab it from him. He's like, snoozy lose, buddy. And uh, jet off. <laughs> I had to get changed. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Okay, I'm gonna have a glass of ice cold water and edit the vlog. A few hours later now, sun's starting to set. We have a beautiful sunset tonight. Mom's outdoing herself with dinner again. We're having ribs, the leftover healthy mac and cheese and salad. Ken's laughing at me blocking him. I think she's gonna have a hard time getting rid of us here though. Mom loves to cook and we love to eat. You know, what's up? <laughs> Nicole, ways to say hello in a different language. Mm. 
Chico, your cushion is so on trend. That sage green color, wow. Fashion puppy. Good morning. There, it's good enough. Oh, I look like a drowned rat. This hair, oh my God. Lost control of the vlog last night. I started watching I Am Jazz with a glass of red wine with mom last night and gave up on vlogging for the evening. So I'm back at it again today. I'm just gonna lump it all together, see what we get up to. It's not even morning now. I think it's about noon, maybe about noon. I haven't done my hair yet. I just had it in a top knot all morning. What have I done? I've been at the computer working on my video that would have gone live on the weekend, which is my spring trends. Uh, video. I really liked how that one turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed it um, Food for thought there. I sat on the patio with the puppy for a little while. Mom and I made a big pot of chili um, So now I've got mom's secret recipe Up here, hopefully. I have the worst memory though, so I should write it down. I should definitely write it down. If I don't write things down Like instantly it's gone. I swear I'm thinking about something one second and then and my phone is so slow I write notes on the go on my phone I'm thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. <laughs> and then I go to put it in my phone and my phone's like, Yeom. you know, like slow motion. By the time I've got my notes open, I've forgotten it already. So yeah, recipe needs to be written down. <laughs> we watched an episode of Dr. Oz. That's about it so far. I'm wearing the same shirt from last night. I only wore it for a couple hours, so didn't warrant a wash. So I'm wearing it again, why not? I just tucked it into my H&M jeans. It's not my favorite outfit in the world, but it'll do. But I do need to figure out something with this hair. It is so dirty, but I just couldn't wash it. Same story, same thing I talk about every time. I just hate washing my hair, um, especially when I'm at home all the time. I mean, if I was still working in the operating room, I would wash my hair even though I'm wearing a hat all day long. No one sees your hair anyways. But when I was working, um, you're around real people and you wanna present yourself nicely even if your hat's always on, except for when you come in in the morning, you go into the change room, and when you leave in the evening. Um, but my hair was always clean then. I'm letting myself go. But anyways, I'm going to try to salvage this, or decide that it's just too far gone. It might be too far gone at this point. It's like, sticky. <laughs> there is so much dry shampoo in it, it's crazy. The only thing I can do is either put a hat on it, because it's just too greasy. This is where I get really greasy at the back here. Um, so I need something to either cover it, or the good old top knot. I'm just gonna throw it up into a top knot and call it a day. But let's see if I can make the hat work. Cause I do still have curls down here. So um, yeah, but the other problem is I don't know if I'm gonna love this brown hat with my bright yellow shirt. I think it's going to be a little bit too camp counselor. <laughs> but let's see. Let's see, shall we? Okay, there we go. It's kind of straightened out enough. Let's pop the hat on. Hat saves a bad hair day or a Josie Grossy hair day every time. Yeah, I don't think I like the brown and the yellow. I could change my shirt and then leave the hat on. It's tough being a girl, isn't it? Shirt on, shirt off, hat on, hat off. My hair is greasy. Do I wash my hair? Do I not wash it? Okay, I definitely have a mounty, um, you know, campsite security guard kind of look going to me. But I think I'm just gonna go with it for now. If I decide it really drives me crazy later, I might change it to just a plain white shirt. But for now, I'm squeezing an extra day out of these curls. That feels like a win at the moment. All right, onward. Oh, hello. I look like a park ranger. Howdy there, folk. While I'm up here, why did I look like such a granny there? While I'm still up here, I figured I would quickly share a little Amazon haul. It's a tiny little mini haul, but I ordered a few things, so I thought I would share. Um, hits and misses of Amazon. First one is a miss. I wanted another little gold necklace like this. I have another one that's a bit longer that I quite like, but I don't know, I had, had a hankering for another one, and I quite liked this one with a little rose on it, but it just feels so cheap. It just feels like it's made of plastic almost. It feels like light as air, which I don't like, and it causes the back 
toggle to come to the front a lot there's like zero weight to this pendant so I don't know it just feels really cheapy to me not a fan of that I also got myself a new agenda um, I had been using a really nice one actually it's this one right in front of me for the last year while we were abroad it has the most luxurious paper to it like super super thick loved it but um, needed a new one I couldn't find that one again so I went with something else this one's all right, does the trick. It's for whatever year you want, you mark in your own weeks and whatnot, so, but the paper is much thinner, so it's not quite as satisfying as the last one, but I guess it'll do the trick, I'm gonna keep it. And something you've probably seen all over Instagram and everything, these darn clips. I fell for them. I had resisted this for quite some time, um, but I finally went for it. They seem half decent. I thought for sure they were gonna be really cheapy, but um, they'll do the trick for this little blip of a trend that I'm sure is gonna be gone by the time I end up using these, all three of them. But I especially like the tiny little one because I've got a small head and very little hair. Um, I think this is just gonna be a bit of overkill for me, but the little one, is quite cute and I like the ones with the gold versus the silver actual clip piece much warmer toned which I quite like um, I have a bunch more coming actually from another website just to compare and contrast um, and they're all different tones colors shapes sizes everything else so I'm excited for those to arrive and then lastly is another hat maybe this one will actually be better maybe that's more park ranger less park ranger I don't know I'm gonna try it on but I actually quite like this. It was uh, another good Amazon find. Both of them are from Amazon. Um, I had wanted this back in Singapore, like for the fall, but I had to resist it because we were only we were living abroad with two large suitcases and two small suitcases basically. So I had to be really, really careful with what I bought because if I bought something, I'm gonna have to get rid of something else and make sure that there's enough room to get it all home. I ended up having to get rid of a few extra things that I didn't really want to toss because um, our bags were totally stuffed. But I thought, oh, I don't really need it. I'm not gonna get it for now. I thought it would just kind of fade out of my mind, but I just could not stop thinking about it. Um, even though we're going into spring now and everyone kind of thinks light, bright colors, not so much the browns, um, I'm still very much into the brown stuff. So now I've got two options. I'm gonna see if this one works a little bit better than this brown one. This one definitely says mounty to me. <laughs> Hmm. This one has a smaller brim. They both got like a nice stiff brim though. Um, but I quite like it. I think it's a bit better. Maybe I'll stick with this one. Watch, I'm gonna end up in a different shirt and a top knot in the next hour. <laughs> Could happen. But anyways, that's all I got from Amazon. These ones were definitely the exciting part. Um, and hopefully this hat works out for me. When I wash my hair again one day, I'll use these. <laughs> I feel so hodgepodge in this. I'm wearing a shirt that is a reference from The Office, one of the best shows ever. A Mountie style hat, especially with the yellow, but like trendy gold accessories and high-waisted jeans. Not my best work here. <laughs> I think I just figured something out on the computer. I spent quite a while yesterday actually trying to figure this out. And anybody that already knows how to do this and is good at editing, you're probably gonna think that this is ridiculous, but um, a clip earlier in this vlog, I needed to put a little blur spot, or usually you see people covering their addresses or their license plate or something like that. Um, and I figured I need to learn how to do that at some point, but it took forever. I'm trying to figure it out, I had to get up last night. I was getting so frustrated. <laughs> Couldn't figure out why this friggin' orb looking thing would not stay where I was putting it. I think I just figured it out. A few hours later now, sunset. We, we have a beautiful sunset tonight. Thank God. I'm so done with that. <laughs> when you're watching a vlog, you'd have no idea that it's been, I spent probably an hour and a half trying to make that work. I've been doing this YouTube stuff for a while now and I'm still learning a lot. I'm not tech savvy, like naturally terrible with tech stuff. So learning how to use Final Cut Pro and everything was a huge learning curve for me. I mean, it's good. It's getting my brain going, getting the juices in the head going, but, um, it is very frustrating at times because <laughs> none of it comes naturally to me. Like none of it makes sense. Can't tell you how many YouTube videos I've watched trying to uh, make this whole thing work. <laughs> Mom's out with the puppy, so I'm in charge of stirring the chili. 
making sure it doesn't burn. We don't have to bury this this round of chili. If you saw my Super Bowl prep <laughs> vlog, you would know that we almost burnt our house down with the last time the last time we made chili. So I'm sticking close. <laughs> My pharmacy recommended revived medic circulation. All right, just uploaded another video, the bowling night one. Hopefully you guys like that. That's a fun one. It's kind of, it's very home video style. Even if I didn't do this YouTube stuff, that's kind of video that I would film and just keep for safekeeping, basically. But yeah, now I need another coffee. Okay, I'm all caught up in editing this one. It's getting pretty long, so I think I'm gonna wrap things up here. But, quick question. <clears throat> what are your thoughts? on the new Bachelorette. I don't know about this. Hannah B. <laughs> Oops, are chapped. I genuinely did not expect them to pick her, like, at all. At all. <laughs> I, I don't really get it. I mean, the only reason I could think of that they would pick her is that she is so awkward and has so little to say that it's kind of like watching a terrible accident happen in front of you as terrible as that sounds but you know something happens in front of you and you don't want to look but you kind of have to look i feel like maybe that's what they're doing with her because it's going to be so awkward and painful to watch but at the same time you can't look away <laughs> is that the theory there maybe that's what i'm thinking but also colton and cassie Unfortunately, my vote for them is going to be, I don't think it's going to work out. I hope it does, obviously. I, Colton seems very sweet and I think he really does want somebody and he wants to get married, settle down, everything. I just don't feel like she loves him nearly as much as he loves her, like nowhere near. I'm not even sure she really loves him. She's probably just caught up in everything and she's so young too. She's only 23. I mean, I knew what I wanted at 23, so who am I to say? But to do that, to say that in two months in dating this guy and only having a couple of actual dates with him and to say I love you, I don't know. I've seen them on a few talk shows after the final rose and um, he just seems completely infatuated and she's just kind of like, <laughs> I'm just gonna go with it for now. Hopefully it does work out and um, she falls deeply in love and they get married and have babies and all that good stuff, but um, I, I just have a bad feeling the way she looks at him. It's not, not the same look, it's not equal. <laughs> Anyways, I am kind of interested to see how this Hannah B thing turns out and if there's some sort of realization here with majority of the public about her being an, a weird choice. Maybe she will be a great bachelorette and very, very entertaining and have lots to say, but um, she's anything like she was on The Bachelor. I think it's gonna be very few words, <laughs> you know? It's weird. Um, yeah, that's all I have for you today. It was really long, I know, so thank you if you're still here. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, make sure you're subscribed, and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.